100.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. Not a lot of things are more awkward on a first date than when you're ending the night and you're like, hey, you want to come up to my place? And they're like, hey, I think I'll just go home. Ah. <laughs> you know? It's always kind of a letdown. Yeah. And apparently that's what happened to today's second dater, Andrea, who is on the phone. And Andrea, I read your email. You met a guy named Tommy at a party and dinner went well, according to you. But you also said that is how your evening ended by you inviting him up to your place and him turning you down. Oh, no. Yeah. Awkward. <laughs> oh, what, when he said that to you, was it obvious that he didn't like you? He said, no, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> Was it? Oh, like, I don't think it's a good and you're idea. A living, breathing woman with a pulse, right? Oh, yeah. you guys. There's some guys who think that that's moving too fast. I mean, maybe it was too much for him. No, I didn't even get a kiss, goodbye, or anything. Even a handshake? Did he at least give you a handshake? High five. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. No hug or anything. Oh. So I texted him later and I asked, "Is everything okay?" And he responded, "Yes." Period. That was That's it? it? Just a one word? Not good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anytime anybody texts me with a one word something, even if it's like my parents and we're just talking about something and I know that they don't really know how to text correctly, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. oh my God, what's wrong? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he just gave you the one word yes with a period. Yeah. And then I said, did I do something wrong? And I never got any response. Oh, no. Did it seem like he was enjoying the date that you were on when you guys went out to dinner? I thought so. I mean, I asked him up to my apartment. Well, I mean, you you thought it was going perfect. Was there any moment in the date that you think something weird could have happened, something awkward other than him turning down your advances? No, I mean, (laughs) the only thing I can think of is I took my time when he came to my house. He texted me and told me that he was there, Mm -hmm. and I took my time coming out of Mm -hmm. the apartment. You know, like I was trying to look cute and just running late. Are we talking like five, ten minutes, or two hours? No, it was like. 15 minutes, maybe. Okay, so yeah, not terrible. No, it is it bad. is annoying when you pull up and you're like, oh my God, come on, hurry it's up. Like being late to the date. Um, but at this point, guys build that into their schedule, I feel like. They're just mm, used no. to it. This was the beginning of the date, though, and everything else seemed to go fine. Like, I can't imagine, like, finally at the end, he gets upset about it. Uh, good point. And I looked good. You know, I was taking my time to look good for him, and I apologize. Yeah. But... Yeah. Well, if you're going to take that long, you better look good. Yeah. <laughs> That's the rule that I have. If you show up 15 minutes late and you're kind of looking pretty basic, then we're not going out again. But if you look like Beyonce, then yes, yeah. you did a good job. And uh, there's that 15-minute grace period where you're okay. At this point, are you hoping to get a second date? Do you feel like he's going to want to go out with you again, or are you just hoping to find out why? I would like a second date, but at this point, I'm not getting my hopes up about it right mm-hmm. you know, yeah i just i just want to know what is going on i mean if he respond, your last conversation was like that where he gave you a one-word answer and then mm-hmm. just never responded if you asked if you did something wrong he's obviously not into you for some reason doesn't mm-hmm. look good but maybe maybe we can turn whatever it is into a positive and get you a second date out of the deal i hope so or at least you understand what you're doing wrong <laughs> <laughs> yes all right well play a song come back get him on the phone and get your second date update all right okay thanks all right hang on Face above the water. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the mornings. Second date update. Amanda is on the phone with us and she wants us to call a guy named Tommy. Something very awkward happened at the end of her date with Tommy when she invited him up to her place. He said, I don't think that's a good idea. (laughs) And then she hasn't really heard anything from him. So it's obvious that something happened on the date that went wrong and Tommy. Didn't like Andrea very much. We don't know why. That's why we're about to get him on the phone, see if we can find out what Andrea did on the date. And Andrea, I've got a special treat for you. Oh. Okay. Okay, this is something never done before in a second date update. I'm going to try something groundbreaking here when we call him, okay? Okay. okay. I'm going to pretend to be you. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. It's the first second date update where I've oh, ever okay. pretended to be the other person, and oh. I think it can work out very well if I get him on the phone and say, like, hey. What's up, Tommy? Yeah, it's me, Andrea. Don't you remember? You wanted to come to my place, and I was like, hey, come up and kiss me sometimes. I'm confused talking right? to you right now. I know. Where'd you go? Andrea, what do you think? I think you go for it. Go for it? You think yeah. that'll work out? <laughs> All right, Andrea. Oh, I'm sorry, Andrea. You about ready to give him a call, see if we can get him on the phone? And... I'm ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> 
<laughs> like he wouldn't be able to tell the difference at all. And it probably would score you a date, Andrea. I'm a pretty sweet talker. <laughs> Hey, is Tommy there? <laughs> yeah, this is he. Who is this? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. How are you? Um, good. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> I'm calling you today because you recently went out on a date with one of our listeners and they wanted to see if I could get you on the phone and talk to you for a minute. <sighs> you serious? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Her name is Andrea. Huh. Huh. Oh, All right, okay. so you, was... you remember going out with Andrea? Yes, I do. She told us that you guys went out for dinner and um, had a lot of fun. Wow. And she said, though, at the end of the night after your date that she invited you to her place and you turned her down, and then you haven't really talked to her at all after, so she's wondering why you turned her down. Wow. So she she called you to ask me that? Yes, because apparently she couldn't get you on the phone, so her last resort was to ask us to call you and find out what the reason is. Wow, okay. I mean, I think that's pretty pathetic, but uh, I was pretty pissed off, and uh, I didn't want to really talk to her anymore. You were pissed off, and you didn't want to talk to her anymore. (laughs) That's right. Do you mind telling us why? Well, she's obviously told you everything, right? I'll tell you what she told us. She said that you guys went out to dinner. She thought you were having a fun time at the end of the night. She asked if you wanted to go up to her place. You said no. She had a real quick text exchange with you, and that's the last she's heard from you. That's and the only thing she mentioned was that she might have made you wait 15 minutes while she was getting ready for the date. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's the least of her problems, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did she do? That's intense. Why are you so mad at her? Basically, I got into a conversation with her over dinner uh-huh. about travel. And, um, you know, I just recently came from Nepal, and we had a really good conversation. And she told me about this trip that she went to in Canada. Okay. And she was complaining about Canadian drivers and how they, she, she wished that she could just go party in Canada without there being such dumbasses in there. <laughs> so it sounds like you're personally insulted that she was making fun of Canadians. Well, yeah, I am. I'm from Ontario. I'm from Waterloo, Canada. Oh. oh. <laughs> so she was railing on Canadians. Did, she, did you tell her that you're from Canada? No. I didn't tell her from Canada. <laughs> Do you, okay, I let her go on and on and on. She went on for an hour oh. talking about how she thinks that Obama should infiltrate Canada. No. Oh, what? no. So, frankly, I'm, I'm kind of glad that you called me because then you guys can see how much of an idiot she is. Do you think that she... I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm not taking not going it... On, on any more dates with her. I'm not as offended as, as you are that she was making fun of Canada. Yeah. Was it that bad? I mean, it's not that it was bad. It's just I don't really want to hang out with an idiot. Don't you think that maybe she could have been joking, like she was nervous and you took it the wrong way? Can you switch sides and come into my place and have somebody make fun of where you're from for about an hour? Well, I get it, but why wouldn't you, like, defend Canada in that moment? Because it's difficult to defend Canada? Okay, see, that's the shit that I don't like dealing with. Oh, I'm sorry, just, I love maple syrup, I'm yeah. sorry. I had no idea that you guys got so angry, Tommy, <laughs> just in general. I mean, I, I could take it for like a minute or two, you know, that's fine, but she just went completely off for like a long time i mean yeah. after a little bit i'm fine she just kept making fun of the beer i like the beer tastes like piss <laughs> it does not taste like piss oh, okay. you, you've and had she talked about how, how she hates her accent and how they keep saying a this and a that <laughs> you know what after after a while i'm sorry but she just wasn't very attractive to me anymore yeah. all right yeah. tommy i haven't heard you say a or a boot or anything yeah. once none of that yeah well well, that's because it's a stupid stereotype. Uh. You know, I'm a proud Canadian. I love my country. Okay. Like, that's, that's cool. That's it. Bottom and, line. As you should. Tommy, at any point, did you look at her and go, hey, shut the f*** up about Canada? <laughs> <laughs> did you never well, do you that? Next time I run into her, I'll be sure to say that. Well, then perfect, Tommy. I'm going to give you the opportunity to say it right now because she's actually on the phone listening. <laughs> Are you f***ing kidding me? No. <laughs> I had no idea that you were from Canada. You spend an hour at dinner making fun of my Chill co- out, man. I was just joking. <laughs> That's what we do in Seattle. We joke about Canada. It's true. Lighten up. Hey, you want to you want to hear a joke? Let's go out another date. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I'll give you props for that, that one, Tommy. Are you actually? 
offended about all this? I was joking, and you could have stopped me at any time and told me, yeah, hey, it, I'm actually from I, Canada, I'm offended. If I stopped you, then I wouldn't have been able to hear all the wonderful things you have to say about my country. <laughs> I was joking. It was a f***ing joke. You don't have to be an ass about it. Oh. You called a radio station to figure out why I wasn't calling you back. Okay. Because you didn't have the balls to tell me yourself. Whoa. Well, he's Canadian, Andrea. Oh, nice. <laughs> hey, hey, f*** off there. Seriously, f*** off. <laughs> you know, I... Shouldn't that have been followed with an A or something, Tommy? Oh, come on, dude. You know That's what? Like... You know what? You should come up to Canada, all right? Come up to Canada, I'll show you what some real beer tastes like, because your American beer tastes like f***ing crap. I, I love going to Canada, dude. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun for me, except for that weird money that you have. I like it. Yeah. F*** off, man. <laughs> oh jeez! I think that honestly think that he deserves an apology from you, Andrew. Why? Because like the dude I'm is from, uptight. No, listen, yeah. I am from North Idaho, and people make fun of me all the time for it. Uh, yeah. and it's where I was born and raised. And there's something to be said where it it feels like they're attacking you personally because where you're from is such a part of who you are. Yeah, but I'm you're from Northern bo- Idaho. I think it's okay to make fun of that too. <laughs> Canadians and Idahoans, no. perfectly fair game. What if they're making fun of Seattle? I make fun of myself all the time but it's different when people are attacking uptight. you for an hour I don't think Andrea were you going off on him for an hour no it wasn't for an hour and I would have stopped if he had said something he is completely exaggerating but you yeah. haven't apologized once on this phone call because I'm not sorry for what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> she's, Why, only, she's, she's only sorry about his sense of humor. Yeah, it's, and it, which is weird because normally Canadians have a good sense of humor. Uh, like that's the one thing that they have going for them up yeah. there. Is there's a lot of funny people that have come exactly. from there. I, Andrea, I'm sorry we couldn't get you a second date. Yeah. No, I'm really glad that this happened because I don't want a second date. What was that ass? Maybe choose a different location to make fun of next time. I mean, Oregon has plenty of material. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Right>. Or... <laughs> Andrea, date Americans, all right? Oh, yeah. Stop going out with these weird Canucks. They're strange. Broken Jubal in the morning.